let's not hypothesize as to why other people might have a motive to shoot your ex-husband. I'm really only interested in yours. When your ex-husband got out of uh, Ravenwood, the psychiatric facility, he was irrational, wasn't he? He was very irrational, yes. Did he ever threaten you physically? More than once. Psychologically? That too. Do you trust your ex-husband to be alone with your child? <laughs> God, no. So you were afraid of him? Not only because of what he had done to me, but what I saw him do to other people, yes. So you, you hated him, is that a, because a fair assessment? Because he was beyond reason. And I knew what he was capable of. That's, that's why I, Wait, I understand. Uh, no, I want to be able to say what? that that's why I understand if Harley shot him. Your Honor. Or, I... or Rick, or Beth, or Lizzie, or Buzz, or even you, Gus. You could have shot him because Philip was sick. He tortured us. He drove us to it, each and every one of us. He took our babies. He took our babies. We were desperate, all of us. Desperate parents afraid for our children's lives and capable of anything. Anything, any one of us. Your Honor, I don't have any further questions. <sighs> Mrs. Lewis, I'm going to ask you the same question that I asked Dr. Bauer and that I asked Ms. Raines. Did you kill Philip Spaulding? No, but... Thank you. The witness may step down. Uh, as one last witness we'd like to call, I'd like to have Jack Webster to the stand. 